Fluid Dynamics Tutorial Potential Flow Over an Airfoil Calculation of the inviscid flow field around a Nacker airfoil using the potential equation. The potential or Laplace equation is equivalent to Poisson equation with a zero source term. Boundary conditions are set as zero normal flow on the airfoil body, and unit velocity magnitude at the external boundaries of the domain. This tutorial can be run by selecting, model examples and tutorials, fluid dynamics, potential flow over an airfoil, from the file menu, and followed along with the step-by-step -step instructions in the user's guide. To start a new model click the New Model Toolbar button, or select New Model from the file menu. Select the Poisson Equation Physics mode from the Select Physics drop-down menu. Enter phi into the dependent variable names edit field. Press OK to finish the physics mode selection. Geometry mode. Press the Create Nacker Airfoil Toolbar button. Enter 0012 into the series edit field. Enter 0 into the angle edit field. Enter 100 into the resolution edit field. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. To create a circle or ellipse, first click on the Create Circle Ellipse Toolbar button. Then left click in the main plot axis window, and hold down the mouse button. Move the mouse pointer to draw the outline of the shape, and release the button to finalize the shape. Select E1 in the Geometry Object Selection list box. To modify and edit the selected ellipse, click on the Inspect Edit Selected Geometry Object Toolbar button to open the Edit Geometry Object dialog box. Enter 0.50 into the Center Edit field. Enter 1.5 into the X Radius Edit field. Enter 1.5 into the Y Radius Edit field. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Select E1 and N1 in the Geometry Object Selection list box. Press the Subtract Geometry Objects Toolbar button. Grid mode. Switch to grid mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. The default grid may be too coarse to ensure an accurate solution. Press the settings button to open the grid settings dialog box and select the grid in 2D grid generation algorithm. To fine-tune the settings, enter 0.3 in the edit field for the subdomain grid size, and 0.3 for the external, and 0.05 for the airfoil boundary grid sizes. This will ensure that the airfoil boundaries are resolved with fine grid cells, while the rest of the domain uses a coarse grid. Also select the boundary layers checkbox. This will create structured and higher quality grid cells near the airfoil boundaries.
Press the generate button to call the grid generation algorithm. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Equation mode. Switch to equation mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Here the Poisson physics mode is used to model the equation for potential flow. In the equation settings dialog box, set the source term coefficient f to 0, and also select p2 for the discretization order, to ensure that the velocities are represented with high accuracy. A convenient way to define and store coefficients, variables, and expressions is using the model constants and expressions functionality. The defined expressions can then be used in point, equation, boundary coefficients, as well as post-processing expressions, and can easily be changed and updated in a single place. Define expressions for the velocities, angle of attack, as well as pressure coefficient by pressing the constants toolbar button, or selecting the corresponding entry from the equation menu, and entering the following variables in the model constants and expressions dialog box. Press enter after the last expression or use the add row button to expand the expression list. Boundary mode. Switch to boundary mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Normal velocities can naturally be prescribed as Newman boundary conditions for potential flows. Set the flow at the exterior boundaries to the expression for the normal velocity and airfoil boundaries to zero. Select the outer boundaries text 1-4 in the boundaries list box. Select Newman boundary condition from the Poisson equation drop-down menu. N to Nx times Uinf plus Ny times Vinf into the Newman coefficient edit field. Select the airfoil boundaries, 5 and 6, in the boundaries list box. Select Newman boundary condition from the Poisson equation drop-down menu. Enter 0 into the Newman coefficient edit field. Press OK to finish the boundary condition specification. One also has to set a reference level for the potential phi at one of the points, in order to ensure a unique solution for stationary problems without any Dirichlet or prescribed value boundary conditions. Select point constraints from the boundary menu. Enter 0 into the edit field for the point at the trailing edge. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Solve mode. 
switch to solve mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Press the toolbar button with an equals sign to call the solver. After the problem has been solved FEA tool will automatically switch to post-processing mode and plot the computed solution. Post-processing mode. The potential function is displayed by default. Open the post-processing settings dialog box and visualize the velocity field U as surface, contour, and arrow plots instead. Press the plot options toolbar button. Enter U into the surface plot expression edit field. Select the Enable Disable Contour Plot checkbox. Enter U into the Contour Plot Expression Edit field. Enter 20 into the number of or specified contour levels to plot edit field. Select the Enable Disable Arrow Plot checkbox. Enter U into the Arrow Plot Expression, X Direction Edit field. Enter V into the Arrow Plot Expression, Y Direction Edit field. Press OK to plot and visualize the selected post-processing options. Use the point line evaluation functionality to plot the pressure coefficient CP along the upper wing boundary. At the stagnation point at the left edge, the pressure coefficient should be close to 1, it then rapidly jumps towards minus 0.5 as the flow quickly accelerates after which it slowly increases towards the trailing edge. Select point line evaluation from the post menu. Select 6 in the boundaries list box. Enter CP into the edit field. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. To see how a higher angle of attack affects the flow field, change the previously defined constant alpha and solve the model again. Select model constants and expressions from the equation menu. Enter 6 degrees into the expression edit field for the angle of attack, alpha. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Solve mode. Switch to solve mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Press the toolbar button with an equals sign to call the solver. After the problem has been solved FEA tool will automatically switch to post-processing mode and plot the computed solution. Note that the flow field now is unsymmetric with two stagnation points. As the viscosity and the cutter condition at the trailing edge is not accounted for in this model, the second stagnation point is found at the rear top boundary of the airfoil, instead of at the trailing edge as would typically be expected. 
The tutorial is now complete, and the model can be saved as a binary file, exported as a MATLABM script file, or a GUI playback file.